It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and other comics from all over. We came to Japan to leave the US, where just because you have a phone, Karen, filming minimum wage workers, Karen, and trying to get minimum wage workers fired, Karen, you think you are right. No, Karen, you are never right, Karen. And neither are you, Becky. The Talk Funny podcast from NagoyaRadio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Daly. Mark Daly back with Mike Miller. Welcome back, Mike. Thanks. We were talking about the classic, we like it a lot, on Netflix, the cartoon Bill Burr's F is for Family. Mm -hmm. And it's also, I think the double entendre is that you know, his father says the F word a lot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, I found it very realistic because I grew up in the 70s. And it's a very dangerous time. We're breathing in carbon monoxide and on swings made out of metal. And sometimes you just flipped out of the swing. You had a, a what do they call those, seesaws, these wooden things. And yeah. the other person gets off and then you fall and break yeah, your neck. Yeah, yeah. It happened all the time. It was just live. I talked to some friends of mine from New York and I mentioned they've heard the stories before. And I told them, I think you've heard on stage I do the mermaid story where yeah. I, do, I try to do a quick version where I'm six years old and I'm at a boat show. My dad loved boat shows. First of all, they had a lot of nice looking women around the boat shows. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So I'm sitting there by myself. They were looking at a boat and then some beautiful mermaid. I know she's a model. I'm six. I still know she's a model. And she waddles over. She's a mermaid in a mermaid suit. And she goes, I know you. You're Mark Bailey. And you sit in the second row in Mrs. Burgess class, you know, in your school. I know you. And you're a good student, but um, you never clean your room. From your room, you can see. <laughs> so, what do you know about my room? She goes, From your room, you can see the Coney Island Ferris wheel. It's true. She goes, But you never clean your room. And if you don't clean your room, you're never going to amount to anything. And then she wow. left. And I'm like, Wow, that's a little six year old irreparable psychological damage. I realize she's a model. She looks like a model. She looks like girls in magazines. And I know it's not a real mermaid suit. So, you're saying that, mer that models get paid to say things they don't believe? Apparently. <laughs> I asked my parents, and so this is in my act. So, you know, I'm six, but I'm not stupid. Like, who was that? Like, is that some prank? And they said, well, I, I don't know. And they saw it. My dad saw it. He goes, I don't know who that was. I, I don't said, know who that was. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. said, well, I mean, doesn't make the boat show any money to come up and pull a prank on a six-year-old. Somebody put her up to Wow, you were, so, you were so, like, with it for a six-year-old, man. You, like, were like, why, you were, like, really Why would cynical. she do that? Well, first of all, I was asked, is that real? It doesn't feel real. And it looked like plastic and stuff, or tail so was that a joke or because even then i was playing jokes on people and my parents said we really don't know you were too wise for your years and i said you know sir our cop who plays santa i know it's the cop he's greg's father he comes over and even though we're jewish and he still comes over and i know it's him and he always tells me about uh, cleaning my room he always <laughs> tells me about cleaning my room <laughs> and, oh, and mom and dad always tell about cleaning my room yeah, so yeah, yeah. is it like greg's father's friend or something and they said, we have no idea. Adults lie to kids all the time. Yeah. Later, my parents are in their 80s, and my mom's diabetic, and uh, she's, she needs her medicine. We can't find it. So I found her medicine in, in my act, and I said, so I have your medicine right here. I just want you to answer one question. <laughs> Who was that mermaid? Who was the whore? Yeah. Who was that? And my parents both said, uh, I have no idea. We uh, really yeah, don't know. No. We think someone was playing a prank on you. It could have been your teacher or friend, but we don't know. But obviously it wasn't a mermaid. And so that's how I introduced Mike Miller, as I say. So now I no longer believe in mermaids, but I still believe in practical jokes. Yeah. Here's Mike Miller. That's but, my intro for you. I don't know why I use but, you. It's just a way to tell but a story. Let me tell you, but let me tell you, you the truth. Some weird stuff that happens in life, and I've, I've had experiences where I've met some people um and you just like they tell you things and you're like are you for real and you're you just like like i had a weird weird experience but when you the thing is here is the first thing when you have a weird experience like that the first thing people ask you were you drunk and you're like yes i was i was six <laughs> i was six I was yes three. i was drunk i was six i was six okay i was six or i was blah 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 or i was high or i was drunk and 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 there's some weird experiences we can't explain and I, in that case, it seems cut and dried, but why would your parents deny it for so many years? Right. It doesn't make sense. And let's preface this with, you have to realize, this 1969, I was six. There was no, there was candy camera, but that's a huge, elaborate setup. There were no iPhones. There were no cameras. There were no video cameras. We didn't do that. We didn't have, nobody had these. You've, I'm, was, I'm sure. So it wouldn't have been any no, pr production I'm value. sure you've lived, you've lived long enough, and I've, I'm, I'm only 45, but I've lived long enough, like I said, where I've had experiences like... Uh, one t one night I had experience like that that was 
kind of similar where I was talking to someone I didn't know and they were, you know, they knew about me and they were telling all this stuff and I was like, who is this person? And, and you're just kind of like, it could be a prank, but why would someone go to all that elaborate detail to do a prank? It's a bizarre occurrence. Quote from Mike Miller, Mark Bailey's lived long enough. <laughs> Take that fake news. <laughs> I was taken out of context. How dare you? <laughs> so, like we said in previous podcast, you have to go back to Mike's conception and then follow him to every word he ever said. Otherwise, you're taking him out of context, right? <laughs> That's right. That's the Jordan Peterson defense. <clears throat> but I had a lot of stories like that. So, the thing with the mermaid. Oh, why would my parents go? They were busy people. Why would my, my teacher is a busy person? Who would go out of their way to do that? And so, I have a friend I call her the Studebaker. She's not like the Ferrari, but she's low maintenance and she's a good friend and she's good for just hanging out and watching Netflix and stuff. And it's kind of my counselor. I can mm. talk things through with her. And there's a few theories. There's a conspiracy thing that yeah. maybe that was a guardian angel. That, because, I thought that was the same thing I was talking about. Because I have another, and that was weird. It was really weird. Maybe it's a guardian Why angel. Why would there be a guardian angel for all of us? I don't know. But maybe there's a guardian angel that were maybe the guardian angel was looking for you, but you were at the bar or you were doing. Stand-up. They found me at the bar, and I was just weirded out. And I but, was like, "Why would someone say a lie like that?" But my parents had a big problem with me not cleaning up my room. Uh, obviously, that's the biggest problem. Mm. I mean. Racism or coronavirus? No, no that wouldn't no, be no, 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 no. Maybe the guardian angel is like, you know, actually, if you don't clean up your room, your parents are planning to kill you. <laughs> They're gonna throw you off the balcony. And I had I had a thing with my sister a long so, time ago. I was a radio DJ, and I was very busy. My sister never called me. She called me one night, 11 p.m. I'm waking up at 4 a.m. I said, "What are you calling me, at 11 p.m.?" I'm very angry. She said, "I had a dream, and I want to let you know." When you cross the street, you be very careful. Watch both ways. And even though the light is green, I dreamed you got hit by a car, right? And so next day, I'm aware and I'm looking and light's green for us. We're about to walk and the you car look. flies. The car wow. flies through the red light. I saved a little kid and an old lady because I was watching. And wow. and that's another like a guardian angel kind of thing, right? My student picker, she believes in that. I How believe, do I know? How do look, I, know? I believe in that stuff I think too. intuition... Happens. I like, do, and 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 then um, people who say, "Well, it can't be explained, so it's obviously fake, or it's obviously this, or it's obviously," it's like, yeah, but why? But did that these was useful happen? information. Yes, to me. why did these things happen? You know, and why? I did clean my room. That was useful information. Was it Carl Sagan said that all these people that had ideas, inventions, and dreams and hopes, mm. and then they died? Where did those things go? Mm. There's some Indonesian tribe that believes the words that you learn in dreams are the key to your success mm. and that your ancestors talk to you. There's all kinds of things. It's kind of bizarre. We can't you know, prove any of this, but that doesn't mean It's like mean the Joe Rogan real. experience without any of the advertisers. <laughs> Do you know about Stamps.com, Mike? No. <laughs> Let me tell you about how the... You, did you know the Sphinx is actually 10,000 years old? Is the Sphinx, is that the reason the monkey... Whoa. And the, the monkey, monkey on the motorcycle. The monkey on that motorcycle. Asking Elon Musk, why would a monkey do that? And Elon's like... I don't know. I'm working on cars, and I'm trying to go to space. <laughs> I don't really know. That was the most. That was like we we agreed. Okay, this is the that's new, jumping the shark. This is we've jumped that's the shark. That's when Fonzie okay, jumps over is, a shark. This, this is when days. we. This is where we 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 do our critique of Joe Rogan experience, which sometimes is awesome and other times is like frustrating. And the most frustrating was probably that Elon Musk podcast. We were joking about it. How. You know, Elon Musk has all these amazing stories he could tell about this or that. And Joe's like, did you see that, motor- that monkey riding a motorcycle? And and Elon's like, no. So because Joe and ran out of questions. It. And it, it, it was just like, you have this guy who wants to go to Mars and start a colony. He wants to do this and that. And that's the question that you ask him. And our joke is we have Abraham Lincoln came back to life <laughs> and he comes in to talk funny. And then Mike, you ask him two questions. Yeah. So Mike asked him, so can you believe that Flip Wilson was canceled after two seasons? <laughs> You know who I am? I'm, Lincoln, I'm Abraham Lincoln. Flip Mills. And then the next question is, did you see that monkey on a bicycle <laughs> stealing a baby? Why would he do that? And Abraham Lincoln goes, I think I'll go back to my tomb. <laughs> you know, you get God and it's like, hey, do you know what MME stands for? MMA? 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 Is that a new drug? No, MMA. 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 Stand- oh, I heard of that. Uh, God, have you ever done an isolation tank? Um <laughs> Yeah, for millennia. <laughs> it's called heaven. You ever done ayahuasca, you know, or mushrooms? Nobody from Earth has ever gone to heaven, ever. Yeah. Another story I had is 
for premonition, that's my sister's story. I had one where my dad's brother, my uncle, so my uncle was very troubled. Always, he had troubled marriages, and uh, he was in and out of prison. And it was a summer day, probably August, and he killed himself. I was nine. I woke up that morning. It was summer vacation, and we weren't going to do anything. We weren't no prepared plans. to go out. Yeah. yeah. And I woke up at 7 a.m. sharp, and I started packing my bags. And I thought, like, we're going to the beach or something. It's like a secret beach. We're taking a trip. We're taking a long trip. And I told my sister, pack your bags. I think we got a surprise trip. And I wouldn't ask my mom. And I said, so what's the plans today? And she goes, nothing. What did you plan? I said, we're taking a trip. What time do we leave? She goes, no, we're not traveling. I said, no, we're going somewhere tonight. Wow. She goes, no. Did your dad mention something? So this is Saturday. So my dad... I went over and I said, so what time are we leaving? Like, what are we doing, fishing yeah. or what? He goes, no, do what you want. Go and play. And I asked so many times with my parents. They said, get out of here. Take your sister and leave. Get out of here. We're going to order pizza at 5, 5 p.m. So we're out playing. And then my mom orders the pizza. And it's like 4.50 p.m. before the pizza arrives. And then my mom is shouting. You know, the phone rings. We're nearby. We hear the phone ring. And my mom's shouting, come back, come back, Mark. Sharon, Mark, Sharon, Mark, Sharon, come here immediately. Pack your bags. We got to leave. Your father's brother just killed himself. We got to go. So we go to Florida. And they told you. Wow. Yeah, we go to Florida. Wow, you drove to Florida? Yeah. This is That's 14, a long 14 ride. hours, yeah, 14, yeah, 16 yeah, hours. Yeah. I said, my bag's already packed. I told you we we're traveling today. So my wow. mom, afterwards, we went to the funeral, all this stuff, right? My parents made me sleep in the room where he killed himself. What? Yeah. Cause That's. That's crazy. That's screwed up. That's crazy, man. We come back, and then my mom is grilling me. She's like, so he wrote you a letter or something? Did he call you? How did you know? I said, I didn't. I don't know where we're going. I knew we were traveling. I just knew we were traveling. And so some guardian angel or his will or something, he wanted people to come. Come. Right? There's and something. We wouldn't have made it in time for the funeral if we hadn't left then. But I was ready. There's something in there's something that children can pick up on that we can't in some ways, it seems to me. What do you have to say about what Mike just said? <laughs> Uncle Larry. Now you get the EVP you're like, oh, <laughs> God damn first. It's they never anything them. good. What do you get from the beyond? You know those ghost shows where they have the E V P thing? Do they ever get any good messages like, we love you, thank you? <laughs> like, it's never that. I really <laughs> liked your bit about the tree. Yeah, it's always like, was really you good. will die. <laughs> like, never anything positive. Come on, afterlife. Give us some positive reinforcement. You take good care of your bicycle, Mike. <laughs> yeah. From the afterlife. Uncle John. Indeed. Indeed. Come on. Come but on. we had uh, Give us positive reinforcement. So I have that. Sometimes I have it now when I hire people. I'm like... This guy was looking at me weird, and he was kind of late. And then when I mentioned you're late, he's kind of cheeky about it. I think not hire this guy. Mm-hmm. And I had that with, we were going to say this guy's name. He mm. trolls on the Goya people. Yeah, yeah, I know who yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I first met him, he just seemed shifty to me. I wish I had followed my intuition. He's caused He caused me a lot of damage yeah, yeah. to my yeah, damage, business. Yeah. And he's caused a lot of damage to people. Oh, he just, that's his thing. Social, he goes around and causes media. damage to people. That's his thing. We won't name him because we, uh, well. We uh, want the place to be burned down. Yeah, we don't want to, you know, maybe he knows your neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to cut this, and we'll see you next week. Mike Miller and Mark Bailey. Thanks. <laughs>